We're back to see your baby, right? Yes, okay. Runaway. Uh, he's one of our studs, and yeah. on uh, one of his sides, he sort of has this little bubble oh, okay. that he's had since day one. When we got him, brought him to the ranch here, we noticed that he had a lump on his side that about well, once a year, it was sort of just drain on its own, but we didn't know what it was. He's yeah. not scratching at it, he's not yeah. rubbing against it, so, but okay. it's there. Huh, okay, yeah. we'll get our stuff ready then. Okay. Okay, sounds good. While Sierra heads to another appointment, Michelle and Maya approach Runaway's barn with caution. We called him Runaway because he uh, escaped out of the pen when we first brought him here from Alberta. And uh, yeah, he's a handful. Easy boy. The mini horse isn't used to being handled or restrained. Just just stay out, actually, Maya, because I don't want him to get run over. Oh, yeah, he's got quite a. Oh. What the? What the? Yeah, that's like a full hole going in there. As I'm looking at Runaway's side, I see what looks like a little bit of like a, a flap. It, it almost looks like a crop dog's tail just kind of hanging there. Yeah, look, Maya, because do you see that? And as I move that around, I can see that there is actually an opening into his side. And that tells me that there could be a puncture. There may have been something that, that went in there and sort of created that flap. And because there's still something in there, it's never been able to totally close over and heal properly. You would think after four years, the body mm. would push it out, though. Mm, not always. It just kind of walls it off. And it, that, that's not always the case, for sure. Yeah, it seeps, and it kind of just trying to feel if I feel anything. I can't believe how good he's being right now. <laughs> he's kind of not sure what the heck to do. Like, there's not a lot of body wall there between the outside and the abdomen. And horses do not tolerate anything in their abdomen, like peritonitis. Horse gets anything in their belly and they're dead. Yeah. So I don't think it goes all the way into his belly, but I think it's just underneath there enough. So what do we do? Sedate I would him say, and open him up? Yeah, not today, but I think we, we could definitely come back. We can knock him down, you know, look with the ultrasound. Then we could hopefully flush that out. And if there's something in there, that it would heal we'll right take up. It out. It'll heal right up. His little mane is just so gorgeous. I can't believe he's being this good. Hank keeps saying how good Runaway is doing. No, you don't like that. But I can feel Runaway is just so tense. Every muscle is just like ready to explode. Yeah, well, I'm going to get out while for, I can. You want to come for a walk? Come on, buddy. Wow! Woo! Oh, that's a good holder, Shank. Uh oh. Uh, I think Runaway just lived up to his name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad he roll? behaved himself, sort of. <laughs> it's broken. Where do you All right. It? Right there. Thanks, Hank. Runaway can live with his condition for another day.